Okay, you guys, yes. I am a mother of seven kids. Seven kids. I had my first baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies. Seven kids. Had my first. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. That matters, okay? That's it. That's all that matters. We ain't worried about y'all. Peace. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? I'm back with another video for us to get into. It's about a single mother who has seven kids and is flexing the fact that she gets $3,000 a month worth of EBT. I'm old school. I'm going to say food stamps. It's all the same to me still. Yeah, man, crazy, man. You know, hey, I ain't mad at her, but I don't know the whole situation. Before we jump into this video, hope everybody out there is doing well. Everybody out there is having a wonderful day. Excuse my voice. I've been a little under the weather. Like I, you know, have to make clear or I don't have to, but I don't want y'all struggling to hear me or whatever. But yeah, man, we're going to go on and jump into this video and do what we do. Let's get on this grind. Yeah, man, she out here flexing. She papered up. She papered up with them, them EBT, that EBT. Okay, you guys, yes. I am a mother of seven kids. Seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, you guys, I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different. I'm sorry. I'm going to get right into it. I don't care. Um, this ain't cute, and it ain't nothing to brag about. It just ain't. I've never respected anybody that keeps making babies and they can barely afford to take care of. This government's already trying to shut shit down and take everything from, you know, uh, Section 8 HUD. I mean, you name it, EBT. The government's already doing stuff like that and working towards that. When I hear stuff like this, it's like, damn, what happens if they take all that away? What are you going to do then? And yeah, I'm going to play this one back too, twice because it's short. Daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Yes, and I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, 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 yes. We are so happy. We are so blessed. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, like I said, it's going to be haters, you know, people going to be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments, but at the end of the day, my kids are taken care of. That all. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> I don't care. I'll take it too. You know what I mean? So I ain't going to sit up here and act like I want, man. Food way too high. I wish I could get some $3,000. I wish I just could get a little bit, but I'm going to say this, man, the real, the type of person I am, I'm not waiting for that. You know, I, I, uh, growing up, we had to, you know, have, you know, food stamps and stuff like that to survive and get by. So I totally understand. I ain't making fun of nobody on that. Like I said, if somebody show up right now and say they got some, some EBT to sell, some stamps to sell, I'm grabbing them. Guarantee you. But I will say this, man, we got to boss up. She's flexing in the wrong type of way. And when she say people's jealous, she talking about them hood niggas that surround her in that fucking pit or some motherfuckers that ain't got no more than her. Because there's people out here that they've been on that on that level before, but they got tired of the games the government plays. They got tired of that. And they said, hey, I can get it on my own and get it better. This is a weird way to flex to me. I'm happy this sister has something to take care of her family and them babies, but she needs to boss up. And not try to convince everybody else that they're doing bad and she's doing great in life. You got seven different children by seven, seven different men. That You know, I'm not even going to say that. I don't know. Shit, I don't know, man. At the end of the day, it's just my opinion, man. But me personally, boss up. That's all I'm going to say. But <laughs> she flexing on me. That matters, okay? That's it. That's all that matters. We ain't worried about y'all. Peace. I'm going to run that back. Like I said, it's, uh, it was short. Okay, you guys. Yes. I am a mother of seven kids. Seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, you guys. I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies. Seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Yes, and I do receive 3K. 
She's saying the shit like it's cute is what's getting me. Hey, if you want to have 7,000 children by 17 different dudes, that's your thing. For real. I, Me personally, I don't know motherfuckers like her personally. But why she got to be trying to make it seem like if you ain't got seven different kids by seven different dudes, you out here, you don't know what you missing out on. You out here losing. No, and you can tell, I can tell, let me say it like that, it really does bother her. Somebody might be, you know, saying things about how she's moving and grooving because if she really wasn't bothered by it, she wouldn't be on here trying to explain herself to a bunch of people that don't know her personally. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel about it. And then her being 14 years old, come on, sister, that ain't cute. That ain't never cute. And she's trying to brag like, hey, that's cute. Women like her are known as baby makers. That seems to be all they're good for. And she needs to understand she's worth more than that. And she got to boss up, real talk. And I do know women that got a lot of children and, and is doing great and held it down by themselves. So it's not impossible. Women are strong as hell, man. But she got she to gotta quit making it seem like this shit is cute. Flex it on your ass. people you already know make sure you hit that like button for your boy like i say grind it you know what i mean that's just my little saying make sure y'all so subscribe and stay locked in on your subscription and on your subscribe as well as uh making sure your notification bell is still going because that's the way y'all know i'm dropping new content and leave comments man i love the uh, i appreciate and love the uh, feedback um one thing i definitely agree with the sister on if her babies is taken care of and that's all that matters. She, like I said, she got seven more children. As long as they clean, healthy, love, protected, um, fed, cool. For me, with this one, it's just uh, trying to make it seem like this is the thing to do. Ah, man, plenty, plenty of people out here had children and made babies at times in their life when it wasn't, it wasn't the right time. You know what I mean? And bringing children into this world, man, you know, you got to have your shit together, real talk. And it ain't easy. You know what I mean? Um, I had to learn that the hard way. And I try to tell young people, you know what I mean? Hey, man, if you can just focus on you right now, love you, get your shit together, build your credit, get your bag, all that, travel the world, get all the shits and wiggles out of you. Then you start settling down. But until then, when you young, man, just live your life and grow into yourself. And learn you first. Don't be in a rush to have babies and, and children. Because that is a big, big, big responsibility. But anyway, my good people, you already know what it is, man. Let's stay on this grind. Let's keep running this thing up. Like I said, I've been a little under weather, but I'm back. I'm going to stay on this grind, man. You already know. Because I want to make sure that I'm influencing somebody out there. If it ain't number one person. To be motivated and to get up off their ass and stay on their grind. Because one day this is going to be bigger than what it is. And, I, and I'm going to prove that, but... Yeah, man, y'all stay on y'all grind, bro. Don't let nobody knock you off your grind. Your grind is everything, bro. Real talk. Until next time, my good people, y'all know what I'm going to say. It's much love, much respect. Let's grit. Y'all know what it is. Maneuver. Because, nigga, I like money and nice shit. My swag is priceless. My bag is righteous. You mad? I got the